This might be one of my new favorite recipes. I'm excited to share it with you. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I volunteered to make some cupcakes for our Mother's Day celebration. I know, right? I'm doing work, but in reality, it was such a treat to bake. I am making vanilla cupcakes with a lemon filling and lemon frosting in today's video. And I also made some chocolate cupcakes with chocolate ganache and vanilla buttercream frosting. And I didn't film it because I've done this cake and frosting a bunch of times on this channel. So I will link that video up above and down below in the description box if you guys are interested in checking that out. So this cake is actually one that I made for Aubrey's birthday. Uh, I made a little geode cake for her second birthday and that was, I don't know, my first time trying that technique and I really think I did a pretty good job for my first try. This cake, I'm actually making a quadruple batch because I wanted to make sure that I had enough cupcakes and I was also going to be using this to make a kind of sprinkle filled six layered cake for my niece for her birthday. So that is why I'm making so much in this video, but I will put down the recipe for just a single batch down below in the description box and at the end of this little video for you to screenshot if you would prefer to do that. This vanilla cake is actually, I don't know, I wanna say kind of bland. It kind of sounds like a bad word, but it really highlights the filling and the frosting very well. My dad snuck a cupcake and I had at least one or two myself and it is just such a refreshing cupcake. So I really didn't want to overpower the entire combination by making the cake itself really, really flavorful. I really wanted to highlight the lemon in the filling and the frosting. I do want to note though here, you guys will see that as we pour in the milk, this mixture looks kind of curdly. It doesn't really become very smooth until you add in the dry ingredients. So don't really freak out if you aren't happy with the texture of the mixture. It will get better once you add your dry ingredients. So this was my first time actually making this cake as a cupcake version. Usually I just make round cakes and this cake really doesn't rise too much. So you can fill up the cupcakes about three quarters of the way and you should be fine. It shouldn't totally like explode and have cake all over the place. And then my little technique for actually filling the cupcakes is I just saran wrap a handle that is a diameter that I like. In this case, it's our pizza cutter. And I just push down and create a little crater in my cupcakes. I don't scoop out any cake because I don't really feel like I'd wanna waste that. And it kind of creates a more doughy, like dense bottom of the cake. So I don't know, I really don't have any issues with this method. Some people might want to keep it super airy and just scoop out a little bit, but this method works for me and I don't have any little cake bits to deal with afterwards. I ended up only using one of these cans and just put the entire thing in a piping bag, piped as much as I could, and saved the rest for the frosting. So in this case, we're pretty much starting off our frosting like a normal buttercream recipe, but we are going to also add in some of that lemon pie filling, which gives it a nice lemon flavor. And then once that is completely whipped up and super fluffy, we're gonna add in our powdered sugar.
Now perhaps I could have chilled my frosting just a little bit. It was somewhat of a more runny texture, kind of like my cream cheese frosting from my carrot cake, but it was still workable. I was still able to pipe it, but as soon as I piped these cupcakes, I wanted to make sure that I threw them in the fridge or freezer to really firm up and hold that shape. I topped it off with some lemon zest and that was it and it was so delicious. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and let me know if you plan on trying it down below in the comments. Get ready to take a little screenshot of the recipe if you want to save it and enjoy a little clip of Aubrey. Tasty too. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.